who feelin' like Jesus Tryna run two million up like Pete Dear yeah, YouTube, it's your boy Crispy Clean Cliff, man. Back at it again at the hood story time, man. Like I told y'all, I'm uploading on Sundays. And hey, what's today? It's Sunday. Yay. Yeah, yeah, Sunday, man. But y'all already know, man. As y'all can see, bro, over the week, I done grew in subscribers. So I appreciate y'all. Shout out all my new subscribers. Shout out everybody that been staying down with me, man. Y'all already know, bro. Y'all already know, bro. <laughs> But like I said, man, I'm back at it again at a hood story time. As y'all know, I'm just doing what I do when I do when I do because can't nobody do it better, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, man. As y'all know, this is just brought to you by being a real nigga, man. Just www.beingarealnigga.com. Yeah. Yeah. And as y'all already know, man, we're going to stay down until we come up together, man. I said we're going to stay down until we sit up there and come up together man yeah we gonna come up together man hey manifestation is the key yeah bro but yeah hey man with no further ado man this is gonna be the hood story time bro how i got kicked out of arkansas baptist college man i got kicked out of college y'all hey man i was tripping man i don't know what i was thinking bro i was still too young bro but hey man like i say man it's gonna be one y'all want to tune in to bro so Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. And hit that notification bell. It's the bell on the right side. It look like a bell. Boom, you hit it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You get notified anytime I sit up there and upload. You heard me? Yeah, just like that, man. But yeah, man, I got kicked out of college, man. <sighs> shame on me, y'all. Shame. To all the young niggas out there, man, hey, don't be making these same mistakes, man. Shame on me, bro. But as y'all already know, bro, when I got to DYS, bro, while I was in DYS, man, I sat up there and I took the GED test, yeah. I sat up there and I took that GED test while I was in doing my last little time at Alexander because, you know what I mean, somebody who I was dealing with told me that if I sit up there and score high enough, then I can get a scholarship and I can go to college. And if I get into college, then I can get out early. So that sounded good to me. So that's what I'm going to do. So boom, man, like I say, Hey man, took my GED test. I got a uh, got a scholarship to go to any college I wanted to in Arkansas, man. In any college in Arkansas, I got a scholarship. I had recruiters coming up to Alexander recruiting. I had recruiters coming up to Alexander recruit. That's how you know, man. A young nigga had some smarts. Even back then, when I was cutting up, bro, and acting the ass, man. You know what I mean? In the Department of Youth Services, bro. Shout out to everybody who made it out that DYS and they never go to the penitentiary because I ain't go to the penitentiary, man knocking on wood but like i say man boom hey i got the scholarship i can go to any college i want arkansas everybody kept seeing me all the recruiters kept coming and a recruiter came for arkansas baptist man and hey man i ain't gonna lie bro they made arkansas baptist sound like it was just so good so y'all already know man that's what i chose man i chose to go to arkansas baptist bro so hey when i get out i'm going up to the baptist you know what i mean on my first day, you know what I mean? I end up, I got some, I got a couple pictures I throw up in here, bro. I was thugged out still, y'all. In my, in my dorm, in my college dorm. I'm staying on the college dorm. I'm gonna throw some pictures up in there, man. Shout out my boy Pierre from East St. Louis, man. And shout out my boy East St. I can't remember your name, but we called him East St. But yeah, man, when I get to the campus, man, I look to my left, cause we going to the Dean's office, me and my mama. I look to my left and I see my partner. He end up being my partner. I see my boy East St. He with his mama, man. This nigga got Spider-Man covers, y'all. I'm like, bro, this nigga, fuck you got Spider-Man covers. Grown ass nigga, crazy ass man. But I'm gonna put this picture up in there too, man. Free my nigga Smoke, dog. He in, he in there too, but uh, like I say, I go to Baptist, man. I get all set up in my dorm room. Hey, it's kind of like the movie Drumline when you get there. I, I got to meeting everybody on the dorms. It was a co-ed dorm, so you know the girls is upstairs, boys is downstairs, bro. It was player, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. It, it was, Play it, man. And, hey, man, I was the first person that I knew that it was going to college out of my family besides my cousin, Brooke. She went to Philander Smith, but hey, man, I got a full ride scholarship. Go to any college, and as y'all already know, bro, I was up in there in that Lincoln Town College, man. Y'all might want to go check that hood story out. When I was in that Lincoln Town College, I got off that Cougar, yeah. But anyway, like I say, man, I get all signed up. I'm in my dorm. I'm meeting everybody on the dorm and turn out 
most of the people, matter of fact, all of the people except for me, wasn't all the people on the door, none of them were from Arkansas. They were, let alone Little Rock, none of them was from Arkansas. All these people were from Miami, and Memphis, and Georgia, and Kansas, and these niggas were from all over. I was the only representation, you hear me, from Little Rock up there, man. Yeah, man. I was the only representation up there, so. I just, you know, I was kind of like the tour guide. I just let niggas know, like, hey, that store up there, that's the Crip Six. That ain't Arkansas Baptist property. It might go down up there. Or that club over there, that's the palace. Y'all don't want to go to the palace, bro. Nah, just, just stay over here on Arkansas Baptist campus. And when one of them parties jump up, y'all do that. Only a couple niggas that I knew, man, it was going off campus. And they was thugging with niggas, you feel me? So, as y'all already know, man. And uh, I had my uncle Smoke Blast, R.I.P. Smoke Blast from 23rd and Wolf Street, bro. Smoke was going up there with me. Y'all know if you went to if you went to Arkansas Baptist, 2009, 10, then you already know, man. Smoke Blast was up in that thing, bro. Yeah. So yeah, like I say, I was like the guide up there at the school, feel me? Cause everybody went for around there, and I'm the only one for around. I'm a, and I'm a member though, nigga. I'm a real member though, nigga. Yeah. So boom, I'm like shit, hey. I know everybody, man. This is my town. You feel me? This where you go. This where you don't go. This what we do. This what we don't do. Chill. You feel me? Chill. I ain't gonna lie. I had a partner of mine that was going to a Baptist. I ain't gonna say his name, but y'all remember that uh that uh that liquor store when the first beginning of the gang banging in Little Rock that shot that I think it was a little girl or it could have been a little boy. Shot that young teenager, that liquor store on Rice Avenue, brother, uh that yellow one. Man, one of my niggas robbed that bitch, bro, from Baptist. I couldn't believe it. Got away with it and everything. But anyway, from Baptist, a college student. I thought this nigga was a square. He robbed the goddamn store. But like I say, anyway, bro, I was a tour guide around that motherfucker, bro. A couple niggas went off and did their own thing, as you know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm the tour guide around that motherfucker. I was still going back and forth from the, the college dorms to Pebble Creek, because y'all know that's where my mama was staying at. So I'm back and forth from college dorm to uh, Southwest Thugging with my niggas, bro. But, uh, hey, man, like I say, at the time, y'all already know, Arkansas Baptist, for all my out-of-town people and everybody who ain't been to college and people who just don't know in general, we had sororities and we had fraternities at Arkansas Baptist. So, you know, we had the Alpha, we had the Q-Dogs, we had the Kappas, we had the Sigmas, we had the Deltas. We had the AKAs, you feel me? We had the sororities and we had the fraternities. And they used to have them parties, bro, be lit. You know what I mean? Like, hey, shout out to all of y'all. Shout out to all the uh, Greek sororities and all the uh, fraternities out there, man. Yeah, y'all already know, bro. If you've been to Arkansas, we be having the end of the world Greek show. I don't know if they still be having it, but yeah, that used to be that thing. So, like I say, a lot of people join fraternities, a lot of people join sororities, you feel me? So, it was a whole bunch of parties going on, bro. And I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, bro. No cap, my nigga. Them Q dog parties, bro. Y'all, if you know, you know. Them Q's be in there acting a fool. Them Q dog parties be jumping, bro. Oh my God, y'all just don't even understand, bro. So, hey, one weekend, them Q dogs was having a party, man. Yeah, they was having a party, bro. Yeah, look, listen, it was probably like maybe about four, five dollars to get in. I think it was six dollars to get in, actually, bro. So I'm sitting on the I'm sitting on the college dorm in my room, bro, thugging, doing what I do when I do what I do, cause can't nobody do it better, like I be telling y'all, bro. And uh, I'm just sitting up there minding my business, bro. And I had a roommate, bro. He was from uh Memphis. I think his name was Damo. I can't even remember, dude. Now he was from Memphis, though. He was like, hey, bro, they throwing a cute dog party, bro. They gonna throw a cute dog party, you feel me? So I'm like, oh shit. Bet, let me go and put my best dress on, you feel me? I go and throw my visuals on and my bathing and apes on, cause y'all know that was the, ah, boy. I just put my best dress on, boy. So, you know, let's go and get clean, rally everybody up. I was had a little bottle of Absolute already in a, in a little mini fridge in my little dorm room. So, hey man, let's get it how we get it, man. Like, boom. So later on that day, you know, later on that night, toward night, you know, the q dogs they got the gymnasium all set up. If you've been to Baptist, y'all know the gymnasium across the street from like the library and shit. So they got it all set up. You know, that's where they finna throw their party in. Yeah, so boom, nighttime come. You know what I mean? I'm still on the dorm, I'm on the dorm. I done got dressed and everything. And people coming back 
from the party up to the dorm, you know, grabbing whatever they got to grab. And I'm like, damn, hey, y'all been there? How it's looking? What it's doing? They're like, bro, that motherfucker jumping. Bro, that motherfucker jumping. I'm like, oh, yeah, bet. And then I noticed some girl had a, a marking on her, like right here, nigga. And I'm like, hey, what's that? I thought it was a tattoo. She was like, oh, this is what they doing to show that you paid for admission. And it was just a a, a purple horseshoe, bro. Like, how the fuck? Yeah, how, bro, how obvious is that? It was a purple horseshoe. And that's how they was paying to get admission to get into the cute dog party. So right there, man, y'all already know, man. Right there, I came up with the plan, you heard me? Like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I say, this is what I'm gonna do, man. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get me a marker, you feel me? And I, how much they charging, bro? Six, six dollars? All right, bet. I'm gonna go get me a marker. I'm gonna stand in front of the door, you heard me, nigga? And I'm, a, and I'm only charging $3. Or I'm going to be around the line. I'm only around the corner from the line. And I'm going to only charge them $3, man. Yeah. So I had already, you know what I mean? So th that was my plan. So boom. Bam. I run to my nigga. Uh, RIP to my boy Notorious Blue, man. He was a Sigma for Arkansas Baptist. He died during COVID. RIP to my boy Greg, man. AKA Notorious Blue, man. You feel me? I went down to his dorm room and got, he ain't had no purple marker, but he had a blue marker. So that worked good enough for me. So I go and pay that admission, you feel me? I go ahead and pay that admission, got in, got my horseshoe to make sure that, you know, it was what they said it was. He did it, I look at him, he look at me, I boom, go into the party, bam. I go in, I get my little dance on, boom, I'm already knowing, I'm like, oh yeah, boom, oh yeah. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about to hit that thing line, why? So boom, like I say, I go and shuffle up out of the party Bam, and now I got a bracket. I'm on the back. I'm on the I'm, I'm over here by the, the library. I'm on campus. So everybody who finna go to the party, I'm already like, hey, three dollars. How much you, you finna go to the party? You you finna pay the whole thing? Shit, I can get you in for half of that. I can get you in for three dollars, my nigga. I can get you in for three dollars, my nigga. I can get you in for half. So y'all already know, bro. I was clocking. Boy, boy, I was a, I was really trapping for real. I really I kind of slick, kind of feel like OJ the Juice Man at that time. Because I was making that much money, bro, selling them motherfucking them horseshoes, bro. So boom, I'm out there thugging, doing what I do. I'm making a good little bugaloo of money. I done went back into the party, you hear me? Because I'm on white man eye. White man eye. White man eye. I done went back into the party. Boom, I'm in this bitch. Uh, 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 uh. Gigging, boy, doing my little doing when I do when I do, boom. So, uh, man, when I was locked up, it was a guard there that he actually uh, went to Arkansas Baptist. He was actually in Baptist. And he was telling he wanted me to pledge Q, but I, I'm like, I'm not doing that square shit. I'm a real gang member, nigga. I don't need to pledge none of that, nigga. Fuck a nigga talking about, bro. Like, you niggas damn near fake gang members, bro. Like, why would I, why would I do that? That's how young I was, though, y'all. I was young. That's what young people think young. I literally should have pledged Q, though. I should have pledged into one of them fraternities because it got you a connection with your brothers forever. But hey, I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't thinking, bro. So, like I say, when I get in the party, the guard that knew me, from uh, DYS, he was in there, and he had pulled me to the side like, hey, he was talking to me like, hey man, they say, uh, they say you out there doing, or or uh, selling, um, selling knockoff, basically you out there knocking off the tickets, letting people in for half off admission. I'm like, ooh, who, who, nigga not me, who said that? I'm like, bro, who, bro? Nigga, me? Nigga, out of all people, bro, y'all gonna single me out? Ah, oh, hell nah, bro. What the fuck, nigga? So y'all already know, bro. I got to cut up in that hole, bro. I got to cut up, nigga. So I let them know, like, nigga, I, I'm really from, I'm really from out here, my nigga. Y'all niggas and y'all some college boys, bro. Don't you never ever come at me crazy, nigga. So you know I could tee it up like Soldier Boy on powder, man, at eight o'clock in the morning. I mean, fire, nigga. I'm on fire right now, fuck, nigga. Alright, snap it, bro. Fuck y'all talking about on the blood. Come outside. On the blood, I ain't right now. Come outside. Right, 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 right. I'm just going crazy, bro. You know, and I'm dead in the wrong, y'all. I was dead in the wrong, but bro, like I say, hey man, I had to play it off, bro. So I had done went off and then I had done did the thing that them young boys do when they sit up there and say, bro, if you're here when I get back, nigga. Blood, none of you niggas better not be here when I get back. Nigga, I'll be right back, nigga. You niggas better not be here when I come back, but I'll be right back, nigga. So yeah, when I come back, when nobody there, boy, it was a ghost town, boy. I was, and I was tripping, bro. Who be, man, come on, bro. Who, I deserve to have my ass whooped for that right now. Somebody, I still, why you doing this at a college campus? Nigga, all these blessed and educated and intelligent people up here. You want to bring the hood up here, man. What the hell wrong with you, so? 
like I say, man, I go I go to my mama's house for like the weekend. I come back. The dean, I had to see the dean, and dean told me, man, like, hey, bro, you on academic probation. You got to move off the college dorm. That shit was, and he already knew my situation. He already knew where I had just came from. But it was over, bro. The gig was up, bro. I had kicked off campus, bro. I had to go back, stay with my mama, bro. And that's how I had to go to school. I had to drive to school. Now, I wasn't no more staying on campus. Wasn't no more free lunch card. None of that, bro. Over with, bro. Academic probation, bro. So, man, for all my young niggas out there, bro, if you're smart and you got some type of brain, bro, use it, bro. Leave that hood shit alone, my nigga. Let it go. Let It's over with, my nigga. It's done, bro. The streets is dead, my nigga. You know, ain't nothing going on in them streets, nigga, but death. You feel me, nigga, in a penitentiary like the teacher used to tell you, bro. But y'all already know, bro. Like I said, man, I had to drop another hood story time on y'all, bro. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, bro. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Everybody been tapping in. I appreciate y'all, bro. Like I said, we're going to do a whole bunch of this channel, man. It's, like, hey, like I say, hey, a nigga be rapping too now. Go check out some of that music too, hey. Stop sleeping on a kid, bro. God damn, you need to be kind of hating, don't you? But like I say, bro, it's your boy Crispy Clean Cliff, man. And yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm the man of the hey. I'm, yeah. I'm pipping like I'm done one. I'ma stop at the store, sell me an onion. Go and get some backwoods in the back of Funyun. Let a nigga play me sweetie, he gon' meet the honey bun. I ain't ride with it unless he got a hundred round drum. Hit that nigga with the drink, he gon' butt up out, I'm bomb. Hit her with the